Saint-Tropez crowd applauding and showing their appreciation to your top three finishing teams in the Saint-Tropez GCL of 2022. The Shanghai Swans in third place, Stockholm Hearts losing it right at the death to finish in second. And it means your winners, Prague Lions, Peter de Force and Niels Brain Seals go on to be champions of Saint-Tropez. Let's show you what happened to the championship leaders and still the overall championship leaders of the Berlin Eagles. It was not a great weekend for the championship leaders. Owen McMahon, after a single time fault in round one, saw a fence go down in round two. He then finished his overall weekend on a personal five. And Christian Kukuk, who struggled in round one on eight, came back with a very important clear in round two. However, an overnight score of nine, four in round two, takes the German team to 13. And unfortunately for them, a score of 13 did not see them finish anywhere near the podium. But it did see them enough to get enough championship points to hold on to the lead. Let's show you the lap of honor in Saint-Tropez that is currently taking place. Again, being appreciated by the local crowd as your top three teams, Prague Lions, Stockholm Hearts and Shanghai Swans, go on to do a lap around this very, very tricky arena. High fault count no clean sheets and only one double clear this weekend as far as round two is concerned and that belongs to falcons Wart united so congratulations to them for Dwina tops alexander gilles thomas great performances for the defending champions but for now let's hear from the berlin eagles following their somewhat disappointing performance disappointment a bit disappointed to have one down uh, my horse was jumping good enough to be clear and uh, it was a mistake on my part, I feel. Yeah. I was just a bit too close at the, the 6A. Yeah. Clear round always makes you uh, feel good. Um, my round was a bit shaky for a moment uh, on this Oxar, but uh, Czech, I managed that very well. And um, I think the rest, he jumped very, very good. We tried our best today, uh, worked out. And um, I think with only one down, uh, we are at least uh, on it. So just to remind you that despite a rather indifferent weekend for the Berlin Eagles, they do still hold on to the overall championship lead. They finished the weekend in eighth place in Saint-Tropez, but stay as your championship leaders. And in fact, because of the Hamburg Giants struggling somewhat, finishing in seventh this weekend, they've actually held on to some pretty decent ground. In fact, they still lead by 13 points, 112 to 99 of that of the Hamburg Giants. And the Stockholm Hearts now moving up to 96 points. So they are in third place, but still 16 points behind the Berlin Eagles, who will probably consider themselves incredibly lucky that after a difficult performance, have now come out still in such a good position on the overall championship standings. Let's show you what happened with the Hamburg Giants. I mentioned that they finished the weekend in seventh place. And Linda Heed, who jumped really, really well in the second round, produced a wonderful clear. A wonderful clear after an opening round eight. She then went on to finish clear to make sure that Hamburg Giants stayed somewhat in the mix. And Simon de Lestre, who made a horse change from Almeas Ryan to Tinker's Hero, jumped clear in round one jumped four in round two. It took the Hamburg Giants to an overall score of 12. That was not enough to get them anywhere near the podium. They finish in seventh place, as we said. It would remain in second on the overall championship standings. So, as far as Prague Lions are concerned, you're wondering that the winners this weekend move up to fourth on the overall championship standings. They move up to 84 points. So Madrid in motion drop down to fifth. So a quite a lot of championship movement as far as the overall standings are concerned. After Berlin and Hamburg, Stockholm Hearts, Prague Lions and Madrid in motion making up positions three, four and five. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Harry Charles is standing by, getting ready to have a conversation with us. A wonderful second round from Harry Charles, delivering a clear in round two to help New York Empire to finish sixth of the weekend. If I'm not mistaken, he's standing by, ready for us, yes or no? He is indeed. Harry Charles, welcome to GCTV. Congratulations for a wonderful second round performance today. What did you make of what proved to be a very difficult track? Yeah, uh, today was big enough and uh, you can see, you know, a few unexpected results from a few really good horses and riders. Um, my mare, Stardust, she's um, pretty cool in this type of environment and uh, I was very happy in my first um, team of the year to be clear. So, um, 
Yeah, it was good, and um, I'm looking forward to the Grand Prix now. Harry, a lot of excitement around your inclusion, around your participation this year. How have you taken to GCL, and what did you make of this weekend? Um, I've actually, I did the GCL about three years ago, and um, you know, I've had a few years off, but it's just it's really nice to be back, and uh, it's as fun as I remember it. So, uh, yeah, I'm really happy to be back part of it, and this, this is such a great team uh, with Georgina, Scott. Um, I went to the Olympics with him, so, uh, you know, I also do a few, and I, I could compete on the country with him as well, so he's already a familiar teammate, but, yeah, this is such a nice spot in Saint-Tropez, and uh, it's a lot of fun, and the horses seem to be enjoying it as well, so, yeah, couldn't ask for more. And finally, Harry, finishing in sixth on the weekend, does that give you guys some belief, just reiterate the idea that success for New York Empire is possible in 2022? Yeah, uh, we've had probably a bit of a slow start to the year, uh, yet to get the first podium. So uh, sixth, not too bad, but um, of course, we'll be trying to get a bit higher than that. I go to Hamburg next week. I think the team's me and Jody. So uh, yeah, we'll be aiming for a podium there for sure. Well, we look forward to seeing you in Hamburg. Well done for a lovely second round performance today. Harry Charles from the New York Empire side performing really, really well, helping the team finish on sixth overall. And as you said, perhaps after somewhat of a slow start, getting a slight reignition into the season. Good to see Harry Charles. And as you mentioned now, Jody Hall McAteer perhaps coming through and jumping alongside him in Hamburg next weekend. Before we continue, let's take a look at Felgenswart United, an outstanding second round performance from Edwina Tops Alexander on fellow Casterfield and Gilles Thomas. Both of them jumping four and four in the opening round to see the team on eight overnight and then putting real pressure on the teams that followed. Tops Alexander jumping a wonderful clear, followed by a clear of Gilles Thomas as well. The only double clear of the day that kept the team on eight and gave them a really, really strong finish to the weekend. It has been, if it has been a slow start to the season for New York Empire, then it has been much the same for Falcons Vart United. But performances like this from Edwina Tops Alexander, performances like this from Gilles Thomas, will give the defending champions the belief that they really can start to make up some ground on the overall championship story. Let's hear from them now to get some reaction. I think today we were we were on on top of it today. Um, Unfortunately, uh, on Thursday, we both had one down, but uh, it's one thing to say you expect something. I mean, I think Jan expected me to go clear, but uh, you just, you know, you have to ride good. They have to jump good. Everything has to fall in place. You have to have a bit of luck. And I mean, we were really both disappointed the other day that we had one down and our horses jumped very good. So um, we just stay on the same track, keeping focused and just worrying about ourselves. Finally, double clear. Uh, we had not so good start in the season, but now uh, yeah, we have a double clear together with Edwina. First day we had both one down, so almost, but uh, I think uh, it was an important double clear and I hope we can move up now a little bit. So let's not forget that uh, Gilles Thomas, I beg your pardon, let's not forget that Gilles Thomas will be a big talking point later on tonight as far as the LGCT Grand Prix is concerned. But for now, his performances in the GCL continue to just raise the idea that this young man is going to be a huge, huge star for the 2022 season. A double clear for Falcons Wart United that sees them finish on eight overall and they put in a really, really strong second round performance, as did the Shanghai Swans. Your runners up from 2021 and Christian Allman in particular if you recall a very very late horse change at the start of GCL round one Mandato was not ready solid gold coming into the mix he decided to jump solid gold again today and back-to-back -back clear rounds from Christian Allman just reiterating how talented this veteran is let's hear from him to get his reaction on his performance in saint oh, I'm super happy uh, solid jumped amazing first day uh, today again, uh, yeah, it's quite warm and he has to fight a little bit and uh, give everything. So uh, he gave me a super feeling and he did from first to the last jump, uh, like almost perfect. We have a very good team, strong team. And uh, so far it didn't work so, so good like we would like to have, let's say. Uh, today was uh, uh, better. We are in the top or we have a good ranking today and hopefully it works out uh, a little bit a little better in the next few shows 
Jean Sandron with rounds of four and four over the weekend, but it was Christian Almond who put together clear and clear. So a great weekend for him and a good weekend for the Shanghai Swans as well, who finish on eighth and get in, finish on eight, I beg your pardon, and get onto the podium, making up some good championship points. But before we wrap up your reaction to the GCL round of San Tropez, let's show you those final two teams. Firstly, Stockholm Hearts, powered by H&M, the team favoured to go on and win the title. It looked all set up. Marlon Bayard Jonsson jumping clear in round one and delivering yet another clear in round two. H&M, Indiana, looking very, very comfortable for Marlon Bayard Jonsson. And catch me not, Peter Fredriksson next out the gate. It looked incredibly set. And instead, that one fence going down at a slow time meant that the Stockholm Hearts fell into second place with the very last round of the day, meaning that your champions indeed were Prague Lions, their first victory on the GCL since Rome 2019. Let's take you back to their two performances as well because Niels Brainsiel's Deluxe Fun TNL clear in round one, delivering a clear in the second round as well. Setting it up beautifully for Peter DeVos and Mom Stupi De La Roque, finishing with a score of four. That at the time, we thought that that four might go on to cost the Prague Lions the title, but their time was fast enough, and it meant that they were went on to be crowned champions of Saint-Tropez this weekend, and a sensational performance from the Prague Lions, who now make up really good championship points. They finish on 84 of the weekend and now find themselves in fourth place on the overall championship standings. Talking about tables, let's bring up the bottom half of the table and just remind you as to how things look now. Scandinavian Vikings still terribly locked down to the bottom of the table. A good move up for the Paris Panthers who put together their best result of the season thus far but still find themselves in 13th place and Falkenswart United after that wonderful shot showing from Edwina Tops Alexander and Gilles Thomas are now up to 10th, just behind the Saint-Tropez Pirates, who the hosts, I'm afraid, did not have a very good weekend on their home ground. But it is the business end, the top half of the table, that makes for the most talking points, because Shanghai Swans, as we said, moving up after a good performance there. They move up to 6th now. Prague Lions jump into 4th. And then no changes, believe it or not, in the top three. So being let off the line, the Berlin Eagles and Hamburg Giants stay in first and second. And Stockholm Hearts make up a little bit of ground, but not enough to move up. As it stands now, Berlin Eagles remain in first place on 112. Hamburg on 99 and the Stockholm Hearts on 96 with no changes amongst the top three despite disappointments from the berlin eagles and the hamburg giants they escape Saint-Tropez unscathed and for the Stockholm Hearts it will be a weekend of just so close yet so far. You'll get all of this reaction even deeper in more detail this coming week on The Insider so stay with us here on GCTV as we bring you more reaction to this weekend's performance and let's not forget Super Saturday. It means that there is an LGCT Grand Prix still to follow as well. Stay with us here on GCTV for more.